Welcome to the Steph Curry era here in NBA 2K25. Yeah, look at Curry, man. Just trying to do great things in the world. You know what I'm saying? This is the brand new era 2K Sports has added this year. And of course, for the very first save, we want to focus on this era. But I don't really care about Steph Curry. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Which might be surprising. Instead, we're going to focus on a different player. That's right. In the summer of 2016, Kevin Durant decided to go away from the team that drafted him, the Oklahoma City Thunder, and sign with the Warriors. However, it's popularly known that there were several other teams he almost signed for. Obviously, there was talk of him going back to Oklahoma City. Apparently, he sat down for four hours with Boston. There was like a short meeting in San Antonio. Even him potentially going to the Heat to replace Dwayne Wade. But the most enticing potential what-if scenario for Kevin Durant was if he had gone to the Los Angeles Clippers to form the Big Four with Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan. Now, of course, Blake Griffin is not in the game, so if you're wondering where I got this, it's just someone created this guy, and then I went and matched him up as best I could with his stats from NBA 2K17, which would be this season. So we're going to jump into this. I'm going to give the experiment five seasons to see what would happen if Kevin Durant joined the Clippers instead of signing with the Warriors to form that super team back in 2016. I will see you at the end of this season. All right, so, so far, things are looking good for the Warriors. Steph picks up an MVP, 35 points, eight rebounds. He had a brain lapse. But here is the important thing. We win 70 games, Doc Rivers is your coach of the year i'm sure we're going to pop up on a lot of these lists actually no uh no wow okay the clippers there we go kd and blake both ending up on third team all nba that's huge love to see my main man mike conley up there as well now here is a quick look at our season stats three guys above 20 points you do notice almost immediately that chris paul was out for a lot of the season that meant raymond felton had to step in and play some minutes but yeah, we're looking pretty good. I mean, look at this. We got a lot of points scoring. Is something that seems weird? That seems like a lot of guys in double digits. <laughs> Is something off? I hope I don't think so, but we'll have to see. We are the number one seed. We're going up against these Memphis Grizzlies. Of course, ooh, Zach Randolph has fallen off. Um, I mean, this is, he's kind of, I mean, that, that makes sense. It is kind of the era where he started to fall back. But yeah, this team doesn't look like they're that good. I mean, they got Mark Gasol, but like, is Vince Carter really going to guard KD? I do not think so. Look at little Austin Rivers coming off the bench. That's some nepotism for you, baby. Let's go ahead and hop in and see if we can finish this one out. Yeah, that one was pretty easy. Now we got to go up against San Antonio here. And this team is pretty good they do oh oh maybe they're not pretty good they have Kawhi, julius daniels is someone hurt uh yeah they're missing lamarcus aldridge so they're not going to be as good as they could have been this was another team kd could have potentially gone to but i just don't think that Kawhi Leonard, pal gasol and old tony parker and manu are going to be able to hold us down i think we're probably going to make it through this one pretty easily but let's see if i'm right yeah literally no issues there with san antonio and the best news is we don't even have to play golden state because they lose they get swept by this utah jazz team this is uh, rudy and gordon hayward's utah jazz dante exum is here a 2k favorite hopefully he doesn't cook me in this save uh, but yeah, this team does not look super strong, but yeah, we have a very good chance here. Let's hop in and see if we can finish off the jazz. Okay. We have yet to lose a ball game, which is huge, but now we have to go up against Kyrie, J.R. Smith, LeBron John. Kevin Love, Tristan Thompson, and the rest of the Cavs. They got Birdman in here, Richard Jefferson coming off the bench, Mike Dunleavy in there as well. This is going to be a tough one. These are probably the two best teams considering how many injuries the Warriors had to endure. I think we might lose a game here, but hopefully we can finish this one out and win ourselves a title here in year number one, just like KD did in real life. But hopefully we can win three or four more along with this first one. Okay, we are locked into a game seven battle here. Let's go win that championship, Clippers Nation. We are jumping into this one late because we have a massive advantage here at home. 128, 113. This one's going to be relatively easy for us. All three of our big guys, uh, by big guys, I mean stars, Blake Griffin, Chris Paul, and of course, KD are in double digits. And by double digits, I mean 20 plus points. We are absolutely dominating them. Kyrie does have 30 points. LeBron has like 25. Make that 27. Huge dunk there, but it's going to be way too late, I think. Uh, there's pretty much no chance to get back to this one, but he absolutely cooks most spates there. And now Austin Rivers, former a number one overall, I believe in high school, he was a number one overall recruit. Maybe I'm misremembering, but 
brings the ball up the court, and this one is going to be ours. We have won a title for the Clippers. It has been, I mean, they have been waiting a long time, this franchise. They have wanted a title for a long time, and finally, they add KD, and they make it happen. Uh, we're going to just run out the clock here, make it, oh, I thought he was going to get that one, but he does not. Kevin Love with the rebound. That is your game, though, ladies and gentlemen. We win this one. <laughs> LeBron going to throw it down one more time just for fun, and we are going to get to the trophy celebration here in a second. Going to see the Clippers lift that title. Look at the team running off the bench. Actually, I don't see KD amongst them. Is he hurt? Potentially, KD is injured, which could be bad for the future. Oh, no, I see him. He's, he's over in the corner. I'm sorry. There he is celebrating with the boys. This is the first time I'm seeing the trophy celebration in 2K25. Oh, also apologies. I just noticed that my face cam was on. So you may be seeing me in some of this footage. Hopefully, I can take it out. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, there's Doc Rivers getting congratulated on winning a title. His Not his first. He won one. He won 2008, right? So get Doc Rivers another title. Get that monkey off his back. I know he uh, definitely is someone that a lot of people complain about not winning another title. If memory serves, I could be wrong. And he might also be complaining about number 41's fist going through his face there. But what can you do? Okay. The good news is, is at least in this one, we are the home team. So that's probably why it's really weird. Okay, I say the good news, but why is Austin Rivers the one lifting the title up? He did nothing. Chris Paul, there we go. The real the real deal gets to lift a championship. Love to see that. Who's going to be our finals MVP? Can we get to that celebration, please? I really like how you can see the court in the ball. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little touch there from 2K. Kevin Durant, of course, is your finals MVP. No surprise there. He had a great series. That trophy just went through that man's face. Are you okay? Do you need medical attention? And there's the confirmation. KD is your finals MVP. All right. Very good series for us. I mean, 27 and 11 and 8.4. Wow. What is, oh my gosh, that's an incredible series. One steal, one assist and nearly a triple double. That is, I mean, yeah, definitely deserves that finals MVP. And that's over seven games. He didn't do it over a sweep or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and jump forward into season number two. I'll show you any changes the team decides to make. And then we'll get into our title defense. All right, we get the band back together for one more go around. But this might be the last time we have all four guys in the team because Chris Paul did sign his player option. But he might look to leave after this year, just depending on how finances go. We might not have the funds to resign him, to be perfectly honest with you. But being able to hold on to all four of these guys for the long term was going to be a tough task anyways. We would hope that it could happen, but we'll just have to see how it goes. For now, we're just going to jump into season number two and see if we can defend that title. Okay, I felt like the game was getting a little funky, so I switched off of the Clippers. I'm controlling the Kings now. It doesn't really matter, but LeBron wins MVP, Lonzo Rookie of the Year. You can see all this stuff. We'll just go through it relatively quickly. We did win 60 games this year, so down 10 from last year, but still, we will definitely take that. That is for sure. Do we get? Oh, yeah. KD is second team all NBA. That's huge. Look at Ben Simmons. Okay. Ben Simmons is here. I think Ben Simmons is one of, if not the most overrated players in the NBA. Blake Griffin is third team all NBA. He is out one to two weeks, though. That is not great news for our team. And just in case you care, here is a quick look at the season stats. Wild to see that Blake Griffin is averaging more points than Kevin Durant right now. That is uh, that's a new one for me. I'm not really sure about that. Katie also averaging nearly two blocks a game. Wow. He's up there with DeAndre Jordan. That is wild very very i mean very big surprise there we are going up against houston here in round number one now the problem is is that blake is out which means we have to start marcus smith because one of the issues with this team literally no bench there's no one on this bench that's any good we do not have any money that's what happens when you sign for big name stars and i don't feel like there's a lot of depth guys in the game right now uh, it seems weird. This 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 era seems weird. I don't know if something's up with it. Maybe 2K needs to give it another pass. But yeah, James Harden could cook us here. Let's hop in and see how this one goes. It's actually a pretty easy series for the Clippers. They get through in a sweep. Now they got to go up against this Timberwolves team. Andrew Wiggins is here. Carl Anthony Towns is already up to 93 overall. Zach Levine, Ricky Rubio still around. This one, I'm not quite so sure about. I mean, the issue is if we get any injuries, we're pretty much destroyed. So hopefully we can stay healthy and get through this. Oh boy, Minnesota has the upper hand here in game number six. Let's see if we can claw it back and force a game number seven. All right, we're hopping in on this one pretty late. We're down by nine points with 152 left on the clock here in Minnesota. KD and Blake both have 32 points tonight. That's looking good. Unfortunately, the rest of the team not, I mean, Chris Paul's playing okay, but yeah, oh boy. The rest of the team is not doing very well, which is to be expected considering how bad our bench depth is. KD gets a nice, ooh, okay, Chris Dunn. Chris Dunn gets his own rebound. Gonna take even more time off the clock. Over to Tyus Jones. 
This little man, I don't know who he is guarding him. I have no idea who that guy is. Ricky Rubio gets the screen. If Ricky Rubio could shoot, man. Um, <laughs> gotta eat my own crow there, don't I? Well, that was just as bad as Kazam. If Ricky Rubio could shoot a jump shot, he would have had a wide open shot. Instead, he just takes it in for the easy lay in. Puts his team up by 11. This one is probably going to be over. I don't think we have a chance to come back in this. Blake Griffin gets rejected by Powell. Man, that is... Uh, Oh boy. All right. We are in trouble and this may get really bad in the next season. If Chris Paul decides to leave, I think he actually, he might have signed an extension. We might be losing Deandre Jordan instead, but we're just going to have to jump to the end of this one, see which team wins the finals. And then we'll jump into season number three. All right. I'll just keep you here to see who wins this one. It is going to be the Timberwolves over the Raptors. Wow, man. This has been really bad so far for the Warriors. Decent enough for the Clippers. I mean, we'd like to be a little bit better, but uh, yeah, that is a relatively surprising finals. I mean, obviously the Toronto Raptors were good. I mean, they won in what, 2019 and this is 2018. So just a year early, but uh, the Timberwolves going over them. That is a big surprise. Let's jump into the next season and see what the team looks like. Welcome on into season number three. As you can see, I did think some shenanigans were happening in the background when I was controlling the Clippers. So I switched over, as I said, and the team has made some important changes, and mostly that means they brought in some real players to come off the bench. So that's good for the future. Also, we got Simons in here as a rookie. So, but yeah, the big news is that DeAndre Jordan did sign back up with us. Although I don't know about giving a 30 year old center who is rapidly going to deteriorate because his game is almost completely based on athleticism, a five year, $151 million contract, especially with Katie's contract up next year probably not the best financial decision but i'm not in charge of them so i can't do anything let's hop to the end of the season and see how the clippers do here we are at the end of the year Giannis wins mvp we'll just curl through this pretty quickly look at that luca on the hornets okay that's a weird one uh Giannis, defensive player of the year it doesn't look like we're quite as good as we have been but hopefully it's still okay chris paul and blake griffin no kd over here on second team all nba that's a bit of a surprise there he is third team all nba although he is a little tired so we gotta hopefully give him a little nap with an easy first round matchup fingers crossed for that uh let's see they are no okay they gotta go with the lakers let's look at the stats real quickly this is really like continues to kind of blow my mind that blake griffin is averaging more points acknowledge me please uh he also just signed a massive contract so now we got him and um what's his name where is he? Holy crap. Where is DeAndre Jordan? DeAndre Jordan. I mean, I know he has not a big score, but both these guys are on $150 million deals. That is, um, I don't know about that one, Chief. That's a little bit rich for my blood. But the good news is we are in the playoffs as a two seed, as you saw. This Lakers team is, they're okay. Look at Bam out of bio. What is, look at his little smile. He's so cute. Hey, Bam. Okay, this Lakers team, D'Angelo Russell is pretty good, but otherwise... Not that great. I mean, they have better depth than us. You could say that. Do they have anyone injured? No. So I think it's going to be a relatively easy first round matchup. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, not much to sweat there. Pretty easy one for us. And now we got to go up against these Mavericks again. I mean, DeMarcus Cousins, very good. But the rest of the team, I think we'll be fine. Get out your brooms, but things are about to go up a notch because now we have the Joker coming to town. And this team is pretty loaded with guys in the 80s. I mean, ooh. Oh, young Jalen Brunson is here as well. But yeah, this is a very, very deep team. This is going to be a tough out for us, I think. Look at Gallinari mean mugging. Okay, let's hop in and see if we can take this team down. That was actually pretty easy. And now we got the Raptors here in the NBA Finals. How does this team look? They got DeMar DeRozan, no Kawhi. He has not been traded. They have Kyle Lowry. I missed him. My apologies, Mr. Lowry. Siakam's here. Uh... <laughs> Every time I see these guys smiling, it makes me laugh so hard. Yeah, this is a pretty nice little roster. I think we're going to have the advantage, but you never know. Let's see how it goes. All right, it is all tied up here. It is game seven. I'm assuming it's going to be in LA. Let's hop in and see if we can finish them off. We are locked into a tight one here. Katie only has 17 points tonight. He's not shooting that well. Thankfully, Blake Griffin is dropping nearly 30, but DeMar DeRozan gets right by Joe Harris. That is going to be a problem. Harris cannot, he does not have the speed to keep, whoa, what? did you see those guys running backwards? Oh, this. Joe Harris does not have the speed to keep up with DeMar DeRozan, and we are down by six here with 45 ticks on the clock. Can we bring it back? It's going to be tough, but we got some shooters. Katie can shoot, Harris can shoot. Look, he's not fast, so he's not good on defense, but 
He can put the ball in the bucket. So we're going to get a Chris Paul. Chris Paul is going to put it up, and that's a miss. DeMar DeRozan. DeMar, DeMar DeRozan. DeAndre Jordan gets a rebound, misses his own shot. Somehow tips that back out to KD. KD's got to shoot here, gets it over to Blake. Blake puts it up and in, makes it a four-point game, 31 seconds left. Going to have to foul, I do believe. And unfortunately, I think most of these guys are pretty good free throw shooters. Kyle Lowry to the line. Chris Paul is fouled out of the game. That's not a good sign. Kyle Lowry's first shot is up. That is, ooh, okay. I thought he missed that, but he made it. Good for him. I mean, I hate it, but we'll take it. Uh, and that's another make. Okay, we are definitely in big, big trouble. Austin Rivers. Oh, that's not Austin Rivers. That's DJ Augustine. DJ Augustine in the game. We're going to call a timeout. Down by six. 27 seconds left on the clock. This one's probably over, but maybe KD has some magic in those fingers. Let's see what he does. All right, here we go. Can we put up a quick shot? We know the CPU hates to take quick shots. But we got to hope for the best. Should have gone out to DJ Augustine. Augustine had a shot. Don't know why he's not taking it. Maybe he's not a very good three-point shooter. Not. Uh, this is terrible. What are we doing? Come on. Get the outside. We need shots. Oh, my gosh. Damari Carroll blocks Blake Griffin. Kyle Rowry back to the line. And we have officially lost this one, ladies and gentlemen. I do not know what the CPU is thinking. Oh, boy. We. I mean, we have, we have so many good players. But unfortunately... The problem with a lot of these super teams is then you can't afford to play your role players. And when you can't afford to play your role players, you end up with Joe Harris starting against DeMar DeRozan and getting cooked. We have lost in the finals here. We've only won one so far. We got two more chances, though. So I'm going to jump forward to the penultimate season of this save. We need to talk to the Clippers management because they did bring KD back. I think it was a team option, maybe a player option, but he's back on a one year deal. Uh, and they still have all four guys here. And they added Kavon Looney. That's a good pickup, right? We'll take that all day. $10 million, 80 overall player, solid backup, going to play very well. And then after that, they signed Alex Lynn, Tyson Chandler, Tyler Zeller, and Larry Sanders. That's I, I don't know if you, you can see this at home. That's five centers on this team. And we don't even get down to our shooting guard until we get to Joe Harris here at 72 overall. This team might be the worst constructed team you'll ever see. Um, and I don't know if we're going to be able to drag them back to the finals this year, but all we can do is hop in and see. I'll see you at the end of the season. Okay, now this is interesting. Chris Paul, out of nowhere, wins an MVP. 23 points, 24 points, 11 assists, 2 steals, uh, 0.1 blocks a game. That's not too bad there for young Chris Paul. And he's not that young anymore. This guy's like 33-34 winning MVP. That's, uh, that is, that is very, very surprising. Zion is your rookie. Here you can see all of the... Oh, Tyreek went and signed with the Spurs? Okay, sure. Um, yeah, the, the part of this league is pretty... <laughs> some of this league is pretty weird right now. I'll show you it when we get into season number five. But yeah, here we go. We are the executive of the year, 61 and 21. BG, CP3, both making a first team All-NBA. Uh, ooh, no KD on second team, but he does show up there on third team, which is... It's, it's, he needs to be taking more shots. I'm not really sure what is going on there. Uh, and then Chris Paul makes all defensive second team. We probably don't have any rookies, I'm assuming. Yeah, and we are the one seed. Let's look at the stats real quick. Man, Blake Griffin, what is happening? Why is he... How many shots a game is... Like, why is he not taking more shots? Blake Griffin is taking more threes than Kevin Durant. I didn't change a single setting on either of these guys, but for some reason... I mean, I know Blake Griffin started to take a lot of threes later in his career, but why is he taking so many shots? It's... That's a weird one. I'm, I'm a little baffled by this, um, but yeah, looking pretty good. It looks like this center platoon did okay. I mean, they're not, I don't know. It's, oh, we're getting a lot of rebounds, right? Like that, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to spin this. We're going up against the Houston Rockets here in round one. They have lost James Harden. They have Pat Bev, uh, Mal Malik Beasley, who is, uh, <laughs> that, that face is going to haunt me. That smiling face they do. Kenneth Reed's here, Clint Capella. Uh, yeah, not a great team all in all. I think we should probably win this one. And I really hope we do because I hate Grayson Allen and I don't care who knows it. So hopefully we just sweep this team and we call it good. Let's just go through it. Oh no, they won a game. Get out of here, Grayson. Go away, please. Please go away. Yeah, we make it through. We're going up against this Dallas team. Oh, that's where James Harden went. So they have James Harden and Boogie. This could be a tough out, actually. Darius Garland is just getting started. Harrison Barnes is here. Jared Allen, Wilson Chandler. Not a bad little team. Let's see if we can take them down. Yeah, no dramas there. Now we got to face Minnesota, and this Timberwolves team is pretty stacked, right? They, of course, have Carl Anthony Towns, but then they got Andrew Wiggins, Zach Levine, and Ricky Rubio, Chris Dunn, Tyus Jones, 
Zubak all coming off the bench. Nas Reed is here as well. This could be a tough out. Let's jump in. All right, we are locked into game seven here. The good news is on the other side, the two teams are not highly rated. So hopefully this basically is the NBA Finals. Let's see how it goes. No real sense hopping into this one. We absolutely demolish Minnesota. Uh, we can look at the box score. KD, all, all our guys having big nights. KD, 5 of 10 from 3. That is huge. Over on their side, no one even gets to 20. They just cannot shoot from 3, and it does not work out for them now. We are through into the NBA Finals. We'll be going up against the Raptors, who I think we went up against last year, and they did beat us. So despite me assuming that we would waltz to a Finals here, maybe this is a repeat of last year. Let's see if we can change the outcome. Yeah. 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 Welcome into game number four here in Toronto. We hold a 3-0 series lead and a seven-point lead in this game. KD has 30 points, Blake Griffin 24, and the Raptors have just not been able to get it going. They were actually leading for much of the game, and then in the third quarter, we just really turned it on. So I guess they have got something going. Kyrie Lowry, oh, Kyle Lowry, excuse me, not Kyrie. Kyle Lowry says, I have something going. Watch this. KD going to go at his guy. He's been playing very well today. Pretty much the exact opposite of what he did last time against this team. And, ooh, he had a wide open Blake Griffin. Doesn't go to him. He's going to pull. No. What? I need KD to shoot more. What is he doing? Gets in the post. He's getting doubled. Kick it out to somebody. Out to, is that Kavon Looney? Looney for three? Looney misses the three. <laughs> Not a very good possession there. Holiday brings it up the court. I don't know if that's Drew Holiday. Oh, bad pass. KD with the steal. Oh, what a bad pass by the CPU there. KD tries to get at his guy, gets up and in. Oh, baby, baby. 53 seconds left on the clock. We are up by seven. Toronto calls a timeout. We will see what they do coming out of it. KD, 32 points tonight, 61% from the field. Having a great night out of the timeout. Looks like pretty much the same lineups. No big changes here. Roberson, Andre Roberson. There's a blast from the past. Kyle Lowry with the ball, gets it over to... Valanchunas over to Powell. Apologies, I probably pronounced Valanchunas' name wrong. I can never remember how to say that. He's going to work on DeAndre Jordan, but DeAndre Jordan gets the miss. And here we go, Blake Griffin on Kevin Knox. No, that's not Kevin Knox. Who is that? Johnson? Sorry, I don't know which one that is, uh, who that is. And Simons is in, though. Simons is going to rip from three. And oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. What a shot from Simons. Puts us up by 10. This game is on ice, ladies and gentlemen. Kyle Lowry is going to get and try to make a shot, but he's going to miss, and that is going to be the ball game. <laughs> Anthony Simons just says, I'm going to rip this one and put this game away. I say whatever. What a shot from the second year player. We win our second title of the save. We'll have one more chance next year, although it is not a guarantee that KD will even be here because he's only on a one year deal. Man. That was, <laughs> whew, that was a good one. Now, of course, the way this works is I'm pretty sure you're going to see the Raptors celebrating, but don't get it twisted. We won this game. It's just that uh, <laughs> UK Sports doesn't know how to fix this bug. Uh, when the home team loses, they always celebrate a title, even if they've lost the game. I don't really know how we haven't fixed this yet, but it continues to be in the game. Doc Rivers gets a second title. Huge one for him, huge one for KD, and uh, we got one more chance to try and make it, not a three-peat, but a three out of five, which is not bad. You take that, right? That's a dynasty, I would say, in my book. All right, let us go ahead and watch the trophy celebration, and then we'll get out of here. Look at Joe Harris. Joe Harris is lifting the trophy. I want to see who the finals MVP is. I'm assuming it's going to be KD. My ugly version of Blake Griffin also in here is hoisting that trophy. <laughs> I, I really do apologize to you, Blake, if you're seeing this on that model. It is, uh, it's not a good one. They, they need to get an official scan of you in there real soon because uh, what I have is rough. There we go. KD wins the title, and we are going to go ahead and jump into the final season of this save. Welcome to the final season of this save. We have been doing this for five years, and somehow the Clippers have kept all four guys on the roster. I don't really understand how they're doing it. Uh, I guess just really good player options, but KD has signed up for $215 million over five years to stick with the Clippers. Now, I did look it up. Chris Paul is now the second oldest MVP winner in NBA history after last year. Carl Malone was the oldest at 35 years old. If he wins this year, though, I think he would take that award from him. Now, before we hop in, let me just show you where some of the star players have gone. So, of course, LeBron is signed with the Magic. That is a weird one. Uh, but then, I mean, most of it's pretty similar, right? Like, I mean, well, Kawhi left, right? But he's still with the Spurs. 
Giannis the Bucks, our guy's still there. But there's not a lot of changing, really. Like, I mean, okay, that's a big one. James Harden going to the Mavs. Russell Westbrook to the Nets. Some of these are pretty big, actually. <laughs> I might be wrong. Oh, look at that. Jokic left the Nuggets and signed with the Bulls. That's huge. Luka playing with the Hornets. We saw that. Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum and LeBron James are now together. That could be tough. Uh, yeah, but then it's pretty much, I mean, not exactly what you'd expect, but no huge, huge. Actually, this, this Knicks team looked pretty good. DeAndre Ayton, Paul George, Kristaps, that looks pretty solid. But um, some some weird teams, right? But it hasn't changed too, too much. I'm going to go ahead and jump to the end of the season, and we will see how this team does. Is it, Wait, the Magic, wait, can we look at the Magic? I'm sorry, I apologize. The Magic looked disgusting. Hello? Oh my gosh, they got LeBron, Jason Tatum, Trey Young, and then, you know, enough role players to make it work. This How is this team not coming out every year? That's crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and jump to the end of the season and see how the Clippers do. All right, we're at the end of this season. Unfortunately, CP3 can't get a back-to-back -back MVP. It's going to go to the Joker. Other awards, as you can see, Weissman winning Rookie of the Year. Okay, 19-12. and 12. Would have loved to see that in real life. Uh, and then we go through the rest of this. Who is... We're not that great. I mean, we're probably pretty decent, but we're not up there like we were last year. Chris Paul does make first team All-NBA, and he is exhausted carrying this team on his back at 35 years old. And as a fellow 35-year-older, I get it. All right, Chris Paul plays pretty much the entire season, which is probably why he's so far up there. And then our other two guys kind of got hurt this year, a little banged up, but they're healthy for the playoffs. So that's all that matters. Look at Simons up here, starting 73 of 78 games, probably filling in at that two-guard slot. Now that what's his name is really old, Did he even play? No, we don't even have him on the team anymore. Um, what was it? Uh, Joe Harris. Joe Harris no longer on the team. That is probably for the best, to be honest with you. The good news is that we are the two seed. Uh, we can send the play in. This is the first year of that. We're going up against Dallas. That team is pretty good. They got Harden. They got Cousins. How were they in the play in? I feel like this should be a team that made the playoffs pretty easily. Uh, hopefully, we can take them down. Okay, we are locked into game number seven here in round one. Like I said, this team is very good. Surprised that they are the seven seed. Hopefully, we can make out of the first round because we would really like to try to defend our title this year. All right, no real sense hopping into this one. We are going to roll to a big victory here in game number seven. Massive, massive series for us. Now we got to go against San Antonio. And this team has still has Kawhi. But otherwise, a little bit lacking. I think we're going to have our way with them. Mm. <laughs> Let me put a shirt on for you. <laughs> I mean, they do have some players, right? Like young Tyrese Halliburton, JJ Redick still here. He can knock down shots as always. Uh, but yeah, I think this is going to be a relative. Ooh, is Rudy Gay still in the league? Wow, Rudy Gay is still here. Okay, sure. Uh, it's 2020, 2021 maybe. I can't remember for sure what year it is. But even with Gay, I think we're going to win this one. Let's see if I'm right. I was incorrect. We were forced into a game number seven. Let's get into it. All right, this one is a little bit tighter, but I think we're going to walk away with this. So I'm not going to jump in. We got an 11-point lead here. So yeah, this one's going to be over. Glad I didn't jump in. We had a huge fourth quarter. Look at that. Scoring 40 points, just 33 by them. And we get out of that one. And in the Western Conference Finals, we're going to be facing the LA Lakers. They have 90 overall, Brandon Ingram. They have uh, Rudy is here, 89 overall. I mean, this team is, ooh, they're, I mean, this is a pretty loaded team, to be honest with you. Not too shabby at all. I mean, no LeBron, of course, but they're not too bad. Let's see how it goes. Okay, maybe I was incorrect. We roll over the Lakers there in the battle for LA. But now we got to go up against the Joker and Jimmy. I mean, this team is loaded to the gills. They have a lot of, looks like, created guys, but Joker... Jimmy Butler, MPJ, and Derrick Rose. And this is what's crazy. They'd be even better if Markel Fultz wasn't injured. Fortunately for us, he's out for a few games, hopefully the whole series. I mean, I don't want to root for an injury, but let's see. What are the Bulls? Uh, yeah, he's out for the season. So he's done. We don't have to deal with Markel Fultz. If we did, this series might already be over. But we have made it back to the NBA Finals. We're going to try to defend our championship we won last year. Win us three out of five. Let's jump into it. Unsurprisingly, it has come down to the final game. We, I think, are at home. I think it's going to be in L.A. Let's see if we can take down the Bulls. Yeah, buddy! Hey, wait! Welcome to the NBA Finals in year five of this save. We hold a 10-point lead here with 139 left on the clock. We are probably going to finish this one out with the title, but I wanted to bring you in since this is the last game we'll be seeing. Derrick Rose had a shot, didn't take it. He goes right at KD. Look at him. Man, that speed. D. Rose, without the injury, would have been so, so good. I mean, he was so, so good, but imagine if he didn't keep going. Chris Paul bringing down the court. We just got to waste as much time as possible. Wild that they have D. Rose guarding KD. 
He's got to have, I mean, how tall is Derrick Rose? 6'2", maybe 6'3". Katie's like 6'9", 6'10", so he's got like seven inches on him. Chris Paul gets into BG. BG goes at Jokic. Cannot move, my man. But he, oh, he missed. Okay, DeAndre Jordan gets the rebound. Looks to go on their power forward, their creative power forward. And that's a foul, but it's okay because it's DeAndre Jordan. Viana, it's no worries. He's going to miss these. I can almost guarantee it. First one is up. Oh, look at that. It's a miss from DeAndre Jordan. Who would have guessed? DeAndre, can you make your second one? It would be a miracle. Oh, look at that. DeAndre Jordan makes a free throw. Wow, that's rare. Uh, we have a nine point lead, 59 seconds left on the clock. They got to start moving fast. Melton into Joker. Joker looks like he might be a little injured, but he's going to hit that fade away. Ooh, does not make it happen. That is, I mean, I feel like that's usually a shot Joker makes. He loves that step back, one footed fade away. A little bit like Dirk Nowitzki, but not quite the same, of course. Simons, is he going to have a cheeky three? No, he's going to get it over to BG, and BG is going to, no, he's not going to pull. BG's been pulling a lot in this save, but he does not pull it there. He's going to waste more time. Smart, smart play. Get it over to KD. No, oh, there he's, he's now he's going to pull. When he's not, he's fully covered. Had another guy wide open, but it said, BG says, this one's for me. MPJ, he, he is never afraid to pull. We know that for a fact, but he misses that one. DeAndre Jordan with the board, gets it over to Chris Paul. I think that is going to be your ball game, ladies and gentlemen. We have won another title in this save. KD going to the Clippers turns out to be a big win for my man. And here we go with the same bug as there. But Kevin Durant in real life won back-to-back -back titles with the Golden State Warriors. He does it here a little bit later, but he does pick up three of five. So that's better than real life. I mean, of course, this is just for fun, but I think it's pretty clear to say that in this case, maybe KD made the wrong choice. I mean, he did play on like one of the greatest teams to ever play, but he did not win three titles. Oh, look, Noah's on this team. I didn't know that. Derek White's here too. Wow, I didn't know these guys were on the squad. We have some legit backup options. I think this save has been very successful, especially if you are a Clippers fan. My apologies to Golden State Warrior fans out there because your team got a little hose. Let's see who wins the finals MVP and then we'll get out of here. It is going to be, you can see my VC. I do not buy VC, don't worry. <laughs> I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you something. <laughs> we don't care. And Chris Paul gets finals MVP. Okay, Chris Paul gets his first finals MVP. So let me bring my face cam back up here. We have three titles in three years. KD wins two finals MVPs. Chris Paul wins a regular season MVP and a finals MVP. You got to call that a success. That's a pretty good five years, if I do say so myself. I had a lot of fun making this one. It felt good to get back into the groove. Hopefully, NBA 2K25 stays a little bit more fun this year. Last year kind of got a little stale toward the middle of the season and then just completely petered out because I think they made some bad choices in my team and the other modes. But I will say it is a good thing to see our favorite bugs back in action here in my eras or my GM, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Again, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.